So here it is, Merry Christmas, everybody's having fun. Look to the future now, it's only just begun. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Stop, stop, your adoration is enough. Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome to episode Club 3, episode... I'm still not getting it. Club 3, episode 12. I think it's episode 12. It definitely is episode 12 of The Journeyman. We've got a bunch to catch you up on. We've had a transfer window. Don't get excited. Um, as you know, we've got no money and we're sort of overspending on wages. But ignore that. But we have made a transfer or two. So... Catch up on results first. After the um, disappointing game against Ajax, that la late winner, and then the win against um, Willem 2, the 2 1 win, we then went on to beat PSV 2 0, dominated them, absolutely crushed them. Kiss and Valentine, great, great combo of goal scorers there with the goals in the second half. It was pretty tight first half, but in the second half, we came through. I was like, delighted. Oh, we're amazing. We're going to win the league. Next game, lost 3 0. Henk Verman with a hat second half hat trick. Just he just did us. They were much better than us. It all went horribly wrong. I think maybe we got cocky or overconfident. Who knows? Next up, we beat um, Dordrecht one 0 Yoshimitsu Iwaki back on the score sheet. Iwaki, absolute legend. He hadn't scored for a f this baubles doing fucking nothing. Um, the he hadn't scored for a few games, and I was a little bit doubting Mazzini had come in a couple of times as sub, just because I was starting to think, has he gone off the boil? But he did get the goal. We then played NAC, drew 0-0, board draw, and then we played Excelsior, and Iwaki, Yoshimitsu, Iwaki with the brace, getting us the draw. We went 1-0 up, they went 2-1 up, we went 2 all. Not too bad at all. That's one defeat in six, or you could say three wins in nine, if you're pessimistic. You know, up to you. You decide how you want to look at the form. It's it's okay. Most importantly, we're still in the hunt. So we've played uh, 19 games now. We're sitting seventh in the league. It's pretty tight. There's a little bit of a gap growing to top four. But if I can get fifth, I would, I would be delighted with this season. Finances-wise, we're starting to hemorrhage a little bit of money at the moment. Um, we don't have any loans. We're just it, The biggest thing is we don't have a big enough stadium, and that is... With the high wages now that we're spending, 122000 the stadium, brilliant. We've got tractors, we've got police outside, amazing, very Christmassy. Um, we're just not bringing in the money, and that starts to, that's, that's going to worry me a little bit. Um, it's a bit of a downer, to be honest, but, you know, we're not here for that long time. Who knows what's going to happen next season. So, we have made transfers, a transfer. We've we've loaned um, a uh, oh yeah no actually we got rid of finally we got rid of Aaron Davis who was just a really bad purchase on my heart he was only cost forty one grand but he wasn't that good um, he was on two higher wages but we have got rid of him he's gone to Helmond in the Jupiler League so very happy with that finally got him off the wages um, we also got um, loaned out Steph Gronsfeld who's like a third choice right back third choice left back just didn't need him in the squads and they're paying his 1000 pounds a week wages so i'm happy with that and then just a youngster that got loaned out so we we lowered the wages a little bit um and we have signed a player on loan from malmo his name is patrick johansson and he's a very good ad advanced playmaker um, a few of you are not, not massive fans of Harrop, and he's okay, but he's not fantastic. So we've managed to sign Patrick Johansson for the rest of the season. We're paying his wages, 150 quid a week. I want to sign him at the end of the season. He's only valued at 17 grand. His contract's running out, so we get, he's going to get plenty of game time. Hopefully see if he performs, and then we'll try and snap him up on a free at the end of the season. 20-year-old um, Swedish player. He looks pretty decent. Um, he was playing, he's been playing in Sweden the whole time. Um, last year played a bunch of games, did all right. I'm I'm very happy with the pickup. I've got two parent clubs. A few of you have mentioned, oh, how come you haven't got any West Ham players this season or Porto players? Our parent clubs. You think brilliant parent? None of them will fucking come. 
The ones that I want won't come. The ones that I don't want that are just rubbish, they'll happily come. But I can't get... I've tried getting players because the whole point of them is I get wage-free players on loan. No, they're not having any of it. Not having any of it. So today we are playing a double header against Den Haag and FC Twenty. We've got a good record over Twenty, so that should be good. Couple of home games, both televised. All our games are televised because you know that who wouldn't want to see me? It's the beard. It's just the beard. Um, Uzo is out injured for two weeks, so um, do we boon? We'll bring in Adu Pepra. I was tempted to give the young kid a go, but he's not even fit, so so that answers that question. Harry Owen, you'll be glad to hear, has signed a new contract. Um, so he signed a new, um, an extra year deal, so he's got a year and a half left on. Got a pay rise, he's on 500 quid a week next. My assistant, so he signed a new qu contract, and then obviously we got asked a question about it, and my assistant does all that shit, right? So he said he's going to build a team around Harry Owen. Bless him. Bless him if he if he thinks that. Oh, has he scored? He's banging him in. Look, in the Dutch reserves group one, seven goals in 16. Prolific in the reserves. Right, so here we go. A couple of uh, little sort of housekeeping notes to make. Um, Wacky's back on form now. He's had a really good game last game out. Played 8.8, .8, 14 and 17. Can't say fairer than that. But now Valentine's only scored four in 19. And he's got six assists, which is not too bad. But the key thing here, and this is why I'm not dropping him or thinking about replacing him, he's made 26 key passes, which is like quadruple the next highest guy. Or Josh Harrop has made 10. We've got Bros made 13. So at least double the next guy, which is pretty amazing. So that's why he's still playing. He's not the goal scorer, but he sets them up and he sets good attacks up. So that's what he's doing. Um, bro is on international duty with Cameroon at the moment. He's got six caps now. Uh, he's doing well. Uzo's injured. Mazzini's on the bench. Blah, blah, blah. Josh Feller's coming back in. Oh, we have renamed Decker to Black and Decker. That is now officially his name, is Black and Decker. Thank you for the suggestions. Uh, but Josh Feller's going to come back in in that central midfield spot. Uh, Johansson's going to start. Or is it Johan Usson, isn't it? Johanneson. Why do you add? Why do you need an extra syllable? It's already long enough. Okay, mate, just just sort it out. Okay, he's just learning the tactic. He's all right. Right. Here we go, boys. Let's do this. I don't even know where they are in the league. We'll find out. I don't think they're a great team. Right. Come on, boys. We've got this. We've got this. Come on. We need to keep up the pressure. We don't want this gap to start drifting. That's what I'm a little bit worried about, especially if other other teams have strengthened in the January transfer window and we've just done pretty much nothing. Den Haag are... 11th at the moment. So home game against this. Oh, I just, oh, I just got the follow alert noise, and I thought I was streaming, but I'm not. It's just a random one. I'm definitely not streaming. I'm checking. It says there's a button that says start streaming. Okay, if I click that, then it'll say stop streaming. I'm definitely not streaming. Okay, I'm got, I've, I'm paranoid now. Right. Um. Oh yes, we've got the revenge. Yes, yes, revenge. I know you're jealous of the suit, the outfit I wear on my manager. Another packed stadium, as you'd expect, for the mighty Venloge. The, so the big one we want to look at today is Johannesson. Um, we want to see if he's really an upgrade on Harrop. It's nice just to have a bit more depth as well. And we've also signed all the new contracts of people that we want to keep. There's about three or four players leaving that are all pretty rubbish. Like Apaku, Apuku um, is now going to leave us. He's past it now. He's 30 years old. He's not getting game time. He's sort of decreasing in skill level quite rapidly. So we've got all the players we want to sign. We're going to cut the wage budget by about five grand at the end of the season because there's some overpaid players in there. Um, I was tempted to sell Victor Omiji. Um, because he's worth two and a half million, I, I was very tempted to just transfer list in, see if I could make, say, three million on him, sort out the wages and actually buy players to strengthen. But I, I might do in the summer. He might be the one I cash in on him. On, We'll see. Right, well, that, that was an amazing, amazing first half. Well done, everyone. That was, that was exciting. I think we're going to be last on match of the day, aren't we? 
I got faith. Come on. Come on, boys. Um ba -ba 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 -ba. You have the ability to make a little difference today. Do it. All right, come on. Come here. I just want to highlight now. Even for them. Let them score. I just want to see some football. Fuck it. They've had three shots to our 15. And we've not had a highlight. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. Careful what you wish for. Oh, it's a good block on the line. Vela, well done, mate. It's another corner, though. We're going to clear it. We're going to attack. Valentine is going to be there. He's going to run for it. Watch. Okay. Hoof. Go on. Go on, Iwaki. Oh, oh we might win this, though. Oh, you hit it too early there, mate. You could have just waited. Iwaki with a sliding tackle. Oh, no. No. It's not. Yeah. I, was gonna, I thought that one might be one of these weird ones where we get a red card. Come on, people. Assertively. Let's go for assertively. Get creative. Hmm. We're creating the chances. We've had 10 decent shots, two half chances. Just create a clear cut chance. Iwaki will put it away. Yoshimitsu! He knows what he's doing. Fellas on another yellow card. Again, I'm a, I'm a little bit worried. Do I take him off? Yeah, Black and Decker's playing alright, so we're going to bring in Black and Decker. Black and Decker, Black and Decker. Right. <laughs> I'm still bunged up, man. My man flu. Still bunged up. Come on, people. Do something useful. Find a way through. Right. Fickert is their goalkeeper. He's going to be picking it out of his net any minute now. Oh, 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 there's a bit of panic going on. Oh, he's panicked. Okay, that was just a really good pass. Fair enough. All right. What is going on here? This is an interesting build-up here from Den Haag. They're showing their skills in passing. Oh, Adu Pepra, what a tackle. Johannesson driving forward. Oh, he beats one, hits one. Oh, what a goal, son! Johannesson! Oh, what a way to introduce yourself to the YouTube audience. It's a stunning goal. He beats a man, drops a shoulder. Fuck off, Bauble. Look at that. Beautiful son. Oh he's, oh, he's not even there. And then he wraps it around. Great finish. Lovely. We, we we want to sign him, don't we? I think we want to sign him. What do you reckon, guys? Instant. We can't now because we've got no money. But at the end of the season, we should have a little, little bit of wages. And that was all Adu Pepper with that amazing interception. He got the assist for it as well, which is brilliant. Um... And uh, da, 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 there's nobody really bringing in Misty. I've been playing uh, the, our youngster just to give him a bit of game time. Waters. Um, been giving him a bit of game time. I think we need a cheeky calm. Concentrate now, mate. Go. It's quite hard to do this quickly. There's so much time goes when you're trying to fucking select it. Go. Yes, 10 minutes left. Did it. New new personal best, that was. All right, see it out. They've, they've not had anything. They've got nothing. They've got nothing. Don't worry about it, boys. 10 minutes left. Come on, please, please. I've started begging. It's not it's got it's got to that level already. Oh no, we got a highlight. No. No. Yeah, sticking soon. One for the cameras there. Woohoo! Adu Pet Price. Done alright. Johannesson. What's he gonna do this time? Oh, it's a spectacular pass. He, I'm already loving a bit Johannesson. Look at him. Oh, he's just, he's hes doing everything. He's involved everywhere. He's got it again. Okay, that's a shock. Oh, he's got it. He's nicked it back. He was just taunting them. He's like, have it. No, I want it back. Good picture. Go on. Kiss. Kiss. Oh, he's rattled the crossbar. Lovely, boys. That's better. Created the chances, just not enough good chances this game. That We'll keep an eye out that. Hopefully, it's just a one-off. We normally create a little bit more. Oh, don't hack him down. Jesus Christ. There it is, boys. 1-0 win. Loving that. Patrick Johannesson. Absolutely superb goal. Um, I'm going to say a very nice victory. Like, on another day, we would have created five clear-cut chances there. But we still created plenty. We're up to six. We're still in the hunt, boys. There's no messing yet. I think Ajax may be a bit too far away. But we're going to try. Right. Vin let's, let's tell him this. 
Um, well done, creating chances. It seems you hold different standards. Last one did impress me, but if you think you can do better, go for it. Just oh fuck me. I ate. I ate. That's one of my most. Uh, it annoys me the most in the game is that they can't take praise. What player is going to go? Well, fuck off. Just let me get on with my game. Stop being nice to me. Right. On to the second game. FC20. We've got a good record. They're struggling again this year in 15th. Let's get on with it. Welcome back, my friends. There's a little thing that somebody asked me to check in the comments, and that was to see how well, what, who's been doing what in the European Championships. And Portugal have retained the European Championship against France in the final. It's a replay. I can't believe they've actually retained it. Let's have a look at the World Cup. Come on, England. <gasps> oh, my God, people. In the most unrealistic event in the entire history of mankind, England have won the World Cup. Who's the manager? Walter Mazzari. Okay, we won the World Cup. Ridiculous. Never going to happen. Right. We got transfer news. We had a, like a few days left of the transfer window. We've sold one. We've we've signed somebody. So let's look at the signing first. And his name is where the fuck is he? His name is Christopher Martins Pereira, and he is a 23 year old Luxembourg international, 51 caps. And all he basically, I bought him in to just add a bit more strength into that central midfield uh, trio. We don't have massive strength in depth. You've got 12 subs to use. So I thought he's not on a massive wage, 1,800. Um, and he's very versatile. He can play pretty much all the roles, excepting roaming playmaker. And he's a decent all-rounder. Still only 23, so he's going to improve. And we picked him up on a free from um, Lyon, um, where he's been basically doing nothing for the last few years. He's never actually played a game for the senior squad. He's basically been playing reserve football his entire career. Um, but I think he'll do. He's just like a, basically a filler. He's not going to set the world alight, but I think it adds a bit more depth to our sort of central midfield options. And we've sold a player. His name is... I almost signed Nigel De Jong on a free transfer. Look at him. I could have signed him, had the money. I could even offer him his wages, but he wanted 10 grand a week and um, he's 36 I was so tempted just to have another Dutch player in the team, but I just couldn't be... I, I haven't had the best of luck with um, those really older players. So here he is, Alain de Gris. He is one of our regens. He's 16 years old. He's going to go for 100 grand or so, but we've got a 50% sell-on fee. The reason being, um, he's got very good potential, but he's he's got a long way to go, and there's some really weak areas in his game that really need a lot of improving. I don't think we're ever going to get him to that sort of level. Plus, we don't play with a winger currently, um, and 100 grand is, is going to pay the wages for a month, plus the 50% sell-on fee. So if Celtic do improve him, then you know Celtic are a selling club in essence. It's a stepping stone if he becomes a very good player, and then we'll make a shit ton of money. So I thought it was a nice little investment, really. And he does look a bit murdery, doesn't he? he he's definitely... Yeah. He's got his murdery eyes. I don't like murdery eyes. So... On to the second game. We are playing um, FC20. Josh Fell is suspended because he likes picking up yellow cards. It's kind of what he does. Um, so Black and Decker's coming in. Uh, the rest is going to stay pretty much the same. If uh, Jeremy, bro, he's back from injury. He's, he was on fire just before his injury. So hopefully he can continue that sort of magic in midfield. And the rest is the, the same apart from all oh my... Oh, look at this. It's all messed up. It's all uh, Risty's coming back in just to add a bit more security to that defensive midfield um oh my ocd oh uh, no why you're too attacking you should be there in the list right okay done okay let's go on with this we want two wins today wristies yep that's fine um pro needs a number number 31 and I've also gone through all my scouting reports. I assign the way I do my, most of my scouting is basically by let me do team talks I can't do two things at once I fully expect you to win because it's FC20 and they're shit. Um, yeah, so what I do with my scouts, basically, is I think I've got six scouts. And I assign them each to a European region, like Eastern Europe or Scandinavia and stuff like that. And I just say, go there for a year, minimum four-star potential, and come back to me. And so I've just gone through that list. And there's a bunch of about ten players that look really good who have got like six months left on their contract. So I'm going to see... 
hopefully in the summer what we're going to do we might be able to pick up a bunch of those on on a few free transfers and that also does beg the question we won't go into too much detail now we still got a big chunk of the season to go but what do we do in the summer are we moving clubs are we staying for another year I think a lot of it will depend on how we finish this season and also how much money we get. But I'm just, you know, I'm just putting the question out there for you guys. I'm really enjoying Venlo. My, at the moment, I'm kind of of the mind this could change radically of staying for another year unless, like, I get poached by a sort of an, like a big team that I can't turn down. That's that's what I'm thinking. Go on, bro. What is that, bro? Bro. Um. So that's what my current thinking is. I'd, I'd like to know what your guys' thoughts are. Like, I know some people want me to move every year because oh, it's boring now. You've been there a year. Let's move on to the next one. Cristiano Ronaldo is just called for FC20. Um, but at the moment, I'm really enjoying it. And it'll be interesting. We're building something here. And we're building our reputation. And I think if we have a good finish this season... We could get poached by a big club or we could just stay another year. I think finances will be very dependent. We need to have a little bit of money to spend in the summer. Otherwise, we, we won't really go anywhere, I don't think. We still need to strengthen, especially uh, especially sort of defensively and maybe, uh, yeah, probably mainly defensively. We could probably replace three of our four defensive options there um, and maybe a, another striker to add a bit more depth. I shouldn't have made fun of FC20 now. They're, they're beating us. It's not fair. Yeah, but what? Well, yeah, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Because obviously this is a journeyman, and we want to travel around, but we also don't want to sort of be moving on every year or two just for the sake of moving on. There's got to be better options, rather than just going. Oh, I just want something new. So. Wow, that was a fucking awful half. Wow. We've not had a single... 60% possession and not a single shot. Bro's just been yellow carded, man. Right. <clears throat> hmm, what do we do? First off, I think uh, Post can get subs. He's playing absolutely shocking. Um, don't, let's see how they get on. Let's give them a little bit of time. Let's go back on to exploit the middle. Right, come on, boys. Sort yourselves out. That was dog shit. It was like a pre-season friendly. Johannesson with a hoofed ball forward. Okay, can we have a shot at least? Come on now. Assertively push forwards, please. Bro! No, bro! You injured, man! Right. We could... Our options here are... Savalainen, who I'm... He's not, done, he's not set the world alight. Or we could go for the new guy and see... See what he's like. Let's Let's do it. Let's do it. Right, come on. We've had a shot. Good start. It's off target and it was a long shot. But, that, you know, you've got to start somewhere, right? Two shots, both long. Okay, both off target. Three shots. Oh, oh, that was on target, but it was a long shot. <laughs> Four shots, still long shots. Hmm. Humbly, humbly, hum. Right. Let's push this up a little bit. Mix the passing up. And stop taking fucking long shots. Come on. If we just if this we lose this one nil for just being awful, I'm not going to be a happy bunny. Johannesson is n absolutely dead. He is dead. He's down to fifty one percent. Stretcher him off. Harrop's going to have to come back on. Fifteen minutes left, boys. Come on. done nothing this game four long shots that's the entirety of our game to be fair it's still more than them but they scored so oh what a waste of points here people come on 
at least rescue it. Oh, that's awful. That's fucking awful. Come on, we're going to get this back. Nice, Rosler. Black and Decker, Black and Decker. Risty. The Black and Decker, Black and Decker. Pereira, lovely pull through. Harrop spreads it through. Oh, Valentine. Got to do better there, mate. That was the chance. That was awful. Not a single shot on target. We restricted them to literally nothing apart from that goal, which is quite important, I think. But they did nothing. How have they stolen this win? We weren't good enough to score, but Jesus Christ, they shouldn't have scored either. I don't score another one. That's just rude. Well, that didn't go as planned. That is unnecessary dropped points here. That is a ridiculously bad result. I'm going angry. I'm going full angry. I am not happy with go. I am not happy with that result. Urr. Urr. Defensively, we're okay. We they they scored that one chance. We subbed off the guy who fucked it up. So I'm going I'm not gonna have a go at them too much. I'm say yeah, you're unlucky. The rest of you, however, the rest of you mother fudgers. I don't care if you you go red. I'm angry. Seem down and pressurised. Seem demotivated. <laughs> Score fucking goals then. Then it won't be an issue, will it? It's your job. <sighs> Unlucky in defeat we were. I slammed the team. I did. I said I was not happy with that result. I'm crazy, man. Right? I'm crazy. Right, boys. There we go. Disappointing end to the episode, which was going rather well. Good new signing. All was good in the world. And then we fucked up that game against FC20. Right, next episode, we're coming into the close, end of the season running now, boys. It's going to get interesting. Remember, there's only 34 games in a season, so we're almost two-thirds of the way through now. We've got a game on hand over at Heronven, but we've got to start winning some games. Otherwise, six is going to start looking like the best we can do if we don't start putting some consistency together, which this is not consistent, right? There's a few good results in there. But it's not consistent. That's what we need to fix. Right. Thank you very much for joining me, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Like if you did. Subscribe if you're new. Share it with your friends. Bloody blah. Leave a comment. Etc. Etc. You know the drill by now. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Bye-bye.